Do you love Pixar movies like Toy Story, Monsters, Inc., or Cars? If so, there's a brand new exhibit just for you here at the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation. The exhibit is called The Science Behind Pixar. It basically explains each step of the movie making process in a way that kids and adults can both understand and enjoy. So go ahead and start by giving me some highlights of the new Pixar exhibit here. There are lots of highlights of the science behind Pixar. It takes you through the stages of the filmmaking process for Pixar. So some of those highlights are, um, are Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. and how do you actually get, uh, for example, Sully's arms to move. You can see that and interact with him. Uh, Wally from Wally, of course. Um, you can see how his camera angles were done and if you uh, change those camera angles one way or another, how that affects the scene and affects the mood in it. Would you say that the exhibit goes uh, in sequence, like how you make a film from start to finish? Is that how the exhibit is set up? It somewhat goes in sequence, um, but Pixar artists will tell you that everything is happening all at once. So that is how a single frame needs to progress through the process. But there are artists at Pixar working in all of these different stages at the same time. So a movie is in so many different stages all at once. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Now I was wondering, are all of the Pixar films included here or only some of them? Most of them are included. Um, some of the very newest ones are not. For example, any upcoming films like Coco are not in this exhibit. It goes up through Inside Out. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Now, being from the Motor City here, I was wondering what's included from the Cars movie franchise. What's included from Cars? We have an excellent uh, surfaces component, and that talks about our the surfaces of any character or any set pieces that are in a, in a film. In this case, they're car hoods. So you can play around with the color of a car hood. You can put a Dynaco sponsor label on it or Rusty's. Now, can you talk about some of the interactives here that people can get involved with? We have digital and physical interactives here. So, for example, we have a stop motion um, interactive where you can move the, the Pixar light. It's that silver light that bends. You can actually make your own film with those. Um, you can also test out the coils that go into curly hair, like on Princess Merida from Brave. And you can get into a physical representation of a digital set of Bugs Life. Oh, wow. Now I'm guessing that the exhibit is more geared towards kids, but there's also a lot here for the adults as well. Certainly kids will really enjoy this. Um, anyone from a two-year-old who's just really excited to see all these characters up through an adult who really wants to dig deep into the content. The exhibit is very well made from the Museum of Science Boston in partnership with Pixar, so they really know how to create a multi-generational experience. Now, could you talk about maybe two or three artifacts within the exhibit that are you know, interesting or people would say, wow, they're super excited about? Mm -hmm. uh, I think what people would be most excited about in this exhibit is seeing life-size versions of the characters, um, like Wally, like Dory, um, like Buzz Lightyear. So those are going to be real photo ops. Um, but apart from that, I think that people are going to dig down into some of the smaller models that we have and um, really find their own favorite components. It'll depend on what someone's favorite movie is. I think what they're really going to find the most interesting. Any other uh, final remarks that you'd like people to know? Well, um, the exhibit is $5 on top of museum admission or a membership. And we do have time tickets. There are 200 every half hour, so we'd really love you to get your tickets in advance so you can make sure to see this exhibit at the time that you'd like to see it. It'll be here through March 18th. All right. Limited time only, so people should kind of rush on down. I would say so, yes. Yeah. Thanks so much. It was nice talking with you today. Very nice talking with you too. Thank you. There's also a gallery featuring clay models of characters from different Pixar films. Here is Mike from Monsters University. There's Nemo from Finding Nemo. And of course, Luigi from the Cars franchise. The Science Behind Pixar exhibit runs up until March 18th, 2018. So hurry on down to the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation. Reporting from Dearborn, 
I'm Jason Residlow for AmericaJR.com.